Every student will need to set up a portfolio account. You can start on this account by navigating to americansentinel.portfolium.com. Start your account by typing in the email you would like to use and clicking continue. You can then check that email for confirmation or you can skip that step and move on with your profile. Start by filling out your personal information and creating a password for your portfolio account. Under account type, select your degree type and click continue. At this point, your account has been created and the details need to be added. The first details you want to add are your area of study, your planned year of graduation, and some proven skill sets that you possess. All of this information can be edited afterwards and additional skills can be added to your portfolio homepage. You can search for some of your classmates and follow them like any social media platform. At this point, you will also be prompted to upload your current resume. You can complete this step at this point by clicking on the link Browse Your Files. This will allow you to search the documents on your computer, find your resume, and upload the document to your portfolio account. If you do not currently have access to your resume, this step can be skipped for later. Click Next and you will be taken to your portfolio homepage. At this point, you can add all sorts of information. First, you will want to edit your profile by adding a picture. Click on the camera next to your name to do so. Start by uploading two photos. Your avatar, which will be your picture, and a cover photo, which can be anything you like. These photos can be chosen from a number of sites or from your computer directly. On the same page, you can update additional information on your account. If you wish, you can add a tagline or motto, phone number, birthday, or other information. You can update your email address by clicking on the correct tab, or you can update your password. Portfolium will intuitively know your location because of your computer connection, but this can be updated as well. The Notification tab is where you can set how you would like to receive notifications. You can turn off email notifications and alerts if you do not want to continue having emails in your inbox. The Privacy tab is also important. If you are concerned about who has the ability to view your profile, you can enable Privacy Settings. This will only allow people who you have connected with to view your profile. You can take it one step further and enable employer privacy as well. The social tab allows you to connect with friends you already have on different social media platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn. The security clearance tab might be useful for our military students as a way to add your level of security clearance for future employers. Click on Portfolio in the top left hand corner of the page to be directed back to your home page. This is what you will see. Click on Edit Profile to add more details. Portfolio will give you options to add your work experience and other accomplishments. By clicking on Work Experience, you can add entries of different job positions you have held. Type in the company name, the position you held, and a description for future employers. Click Save Changes. You may be prompted to boost your entry with a work sample. You can upload a work sample from your computer. If you created a video or used another platform, you can also add the link if that is easier. Make sure to include a description of your work sample. Once updated, you will be prompted to add additional details about the post. Go back to Edit Profile to add more details to your profile. You can add courses, affiliations, publications, accomplishments, and much more by clicking on any of these links. Click on the Portfolio tab to add more detail. 
Under this tab, you can add new work that you have completed to your profile. Students will be required to upload their final projects from each course to their profile page. Click on Add New Work and follow the steps to add your final projects. Under the Connections tab, you can find classmates, faculty, and friends to connect with on your profile. Portfolio will give you some suggestions of people that you might know. You can also follow companies or organizations. On your home page, if you would like to add more skills to your profile or upload an updated resume, you can do that on the left-hand side of the page. This small icon will be available on every page in Portfolio. If you are having issues with the site, click on this icon to chat with representative of the company. They will be able to help you through some steps that you might be having issues with. In the top right hand corner, you will also see your picture with a small down arrow. Click on the arrow and you will see some additional links and information such as, such as jobs that might suit your skill set, profile settings, and even a user guide. The user guide is a great resource to look through as well when you are having issues with your profile. You can get advice and answers from the portfolio team that you might need. For example, this article will help you get started on your account in three easy steps. In the top of your screen, you will also see some different options such as the Discover tab. This tab allows students to search for different profiles and organizations based on their interest and skill sets. For example, click on Healthcare to see some expert profiles and picks in this industry. As always, feel free to reach out to your student success advisors with additional questions and concerns.